Let's go back in time. Imagine you're driving on the highway, got the windows rolled down and listening to that famous track from ACDC. Feels pretty cool, right? Well, that's exactly how the music lovers from the era of cassette players must have felt. The presence of cassettes caused the biggest shakeup in the recording industry and is one of mankind's crowning achievements. Let's dig into the history. In Belgium, 1962, a team of engineers led by Louis Otens was attempting to develop a new standard in audio storage. And what they came up with was the compact cassette, or as you might know, a cassette tape. It provides 30 minutes of playing time per side, and quickly replaced the outdated reel-to-reel -reel recorders. In 1964, Philips started selling the portable cassette recorder to the masses as Philips EL3300 in Europe and the Norelco carry recorder in the US. But what was the buzz about? Well, let me tell you. Not only people could play their favorite audio tracks, but they could also create their own mixtape to give to a special friend or a loved one. And for that time, these tapes were capable of sounding as great as vinyl, making your car stereo sound as good as the one in your home. And by the late 1970s, the cassette market was booming. This growth was also aided by Sony's Walkman that made music pocketable for the first time. By the way, if you haven't already watched one of our recent videos about the story of Sony Walkman, you can check that out too after finishing this video. Anyways, albums on cassette arrived in America in 1966 with Eartha Kitt, Nina Simon, and Johnny Mathis among the first artists on tape, and soon the whole world followed suit. However, the market had drastically dropped by the late 1980s, and this was because of a new technology called compact discs, which became highly popular in the 1990s and drastically changed the audio consumption scene. CDs at that time were a revolutionary way of recording and playing music. They had better data storage with high bandwidth capabilities, much cheaper to produce, more durable, and most of all, they had better audio quality. As a result, cassette players in cars started getting replaced with in-dash CD players. And by 2001, the cassette dropped out of the race as its market share came down to less than 5%. Eventually, they had pretty much become non-existent as music production houses stopped producing them because of the ongoing demand for the CD. Thus, like all technology, what seemed amazing became quickly obsolete. It is actually mind-blowing to think that just a few decades ago, cassette tapes were the golden standard. And now, we have the ability to stream and listen to audio over the internet anytime, anywhere, through the web or mobile applications. Fast forward to 2021. Now, CDs are also on their way to obsolescence as well. But let's talk about that in another video, shall we?